Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers yet again, doing another top three video. This time, talking about the offensive side of the ball and three reasons why I think it can be fantastic for this season. Gonna be talking about that. Before I get that started, wanna talk about Rombo Sports. Hopefully, you guys watched the conversation that I had with him. It was a blast. I had a lot of fun. I think I did a much better job at this conversation than I did last year when I just called into his show because last year I was interrupting him like crazy, but this time, I think I did a much better job listening to him not getting too overly excited because hey talking about 49 football is very exciting hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't watched it i'll have a link in the description below and in the comment section too please if you haven't watched it watch it subscribe to rombo sports rombo one more time thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be on your channel and hopefully we can collaborate more that out of the way friday let's get this started before I do, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share this channel. Share my video with other Niner faithfuls. Let's get this started. The top three reasons why I think the 49ers offense can be fantastic for 2019 or great. Number three, everybody coming back healthy. This is a very important one because, as you all know, I can keep saying this until the cows come home. Injuries were a very bad part for the 49ers in 2018, and that is the contributing factor on the reason why we went 4-12 and last year. Had everyone been as healthy as possible, Garoppolo being able to play all 16 games, McKinnon being able to play all 16 games as well, I think it would have been a much better result for the Niners. I don't know if they would have made the playoffs. That would have been a very debatable situation right there, but they would have been a lot better than 4-12. and There you have it right there. Everyone as I mentioned, those two guys, Garoppolo, McKinnon, Goodwin's coming back healthy too. He also had some personal live problems, I think, during the season, so that doesn't really help. But hopefully everything is working out well for him coming into this season. Everyone is coming back healthy. I think that's a really good thing. But as I said, Jimmy Garoppolo, the most important man for this offense. And if he stays healthy for all 16 games, I think we can have a fantastic season. He's always shown flashes of greatness for his NFL career, but hopefully in 2019, this could be his first full season where he really shows why the 49ers paid him a lot of money for that big contract. Injuries, everybody coming back from it. I think if everyone can maintain that good health for the whole season, it's going to be a much better offense. We can rank really high in terms of that, and that's what they did in 2017 when they ended the season when Garoppolo came to the Niners. Number two, going to single out one position group, the running back position, because this is a very vital group right here. You got Jeremy Kenyon, Matt Breida, Tevin Coleman coming from the Atlanta Falcons, Raheem Moster, and Kyle Juszczyk. Those guys, they are going to be very important for this team because they're going to take the load off of Garoppolo. Garoppolo won't have to force the ball on his hands all the time. With the four running backs that we have, they can rotate. Hopefully, that would lessen the impact of injuries because, ooh, injuries suck, as I mentioned before. But yeah, the running game. I think this is a fantastic group right here. Last year, in 2018, when Garoppolo went out, they were one of the reasons why 49er football was even watchable for the first half of the season after he went out, and then Mullins came in, and it was even more watchable when he became the quarterback. The running game, very important for any quarterback that takes under center for us, whether it's Garoppolo or Mullins. Also, very talented guys. Brita, he almost rushed it for 1,000 yards, considering the fact he was injured for a lot of the times in 2018. There's just a lot of good things to look for to the running back position. I believe that they would be a very vital part to this offense in 2019, and I think you could guys all know that by now because we have a lot of talented guys within and I can't wait to see what they do during the season. Being coached by Kyle Chinahan and Bobby Turner, the best guys for running backs, like this is a dream come true for Garoppolo and company. Finally, coming in at number one as the biggest reason why the 49ers offense can be great in 2019 is our talent. We have a plethora of talent in this roster for the offensive side of the ball. I can mention some names right now. I probably mentioned them already in this video many times, but going to do it anyways. Jimmy Garoppolo, the running backs, wide receiver group. They have some potential right there. Dante Pettis, Marquise Goodwin when healthy. Also, the big guy, George Kittle. I haven't mentioned him a lot for the past couple of weeks, but yes, this guy is going to be a very important part in the offensive offense. He's the go-to guy for any quarterback that we have, as we saw last year when he was getting the ball thrown to by Garoppolo, Bether, and Mullins. They all went to Kittle, and Kittle ended up breaking the record for the most yards for a tight end in a single season. So he's going to be very pivotal for this offense. Hopefully, the Niners, they can get a really good wide receiver in the draft. Hopefully, take some pressure off of Kittle. We can have a great offense, but this talent, I'm just really excited to see what they can do. Also, the offensive line is filled with talent as well. Mike McGlinchey, Joe Staley, he's still the man in San Francisco. 
Francisco for the offensive side of the ball, offensive tackle. Riston Richburg, he struggled just a little bit last year, but I think he can step it up this year in 2019. There's just a lot of talent that we can use, and Kyle Shanahan is probably happy right now with the talent that they have. And the draft hasn't even come up yet. Maybe we can get some more great guys in the draft. That'd be very exciting. That's pretty much it, you guys. I think this offense can do many great things in 2019, 2018. They were supposed to show what they could do, but Garoppolo got injured, and it pretty much went down the toilet after that. But hopefully, everyone stays healthy. Everyone can get their game going. We can have a great offense in 2019 because Kyle Shanahan is the master of offense, and we want to show why he's the master of the offense. He can do great things on that side of the ball. Going to keep it like that, you guys. Please let me know your reasons why the offense can be great in 2019. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. And I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow. One more video for the week on Saturday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Go Niners all day.